Hey, so I wanted to give a follow-up to the video I posted yesterday about the uh, passing of our family dog, Murphy. It, it did indeed happen last night, and it was, uh, it was rough. So we had a service where the veterinarian comes to the house and puts the dog to sleep here instead of us bringing her somewhere to do it. And I think that was the best choice we could have made. It it was comforting to know that she uh, she passed away not scared. In fact, you know, we were sitting on the couch. I was holding holding Murphy. My wife was next to me. My two girls were on the other side of me, and we were all just with her. And she never felt scared. They gave her some, you know, some pain medication and stuff to calm her down and, you know, have her actually fall asleep. And then they gave her the uh, the medicine that uh, ended her life. It was uh, it was a rough night. You know, my wife was very upset. My kids were very upset. I was upset, too. I'm not one to show it. Um, I guess I'm old fashioned in that sense. I really don't want my daughters or wife to see me cry. And uh, you know, right or wrong, that's just the way I am. But you know, it was a, it was a hard night. But I'm glad that she left us not on some uh, veterinarian table, but with me holding her and uh, the people who loved her around. My oldest daughter's having the hardest time with it. You know, she, uh, a lot of, there's a lot of crying. And she's having a rough day at school today. <sighs> and, you know, it's, I'm having a rough day too. I've been working from home for, you know, years. So our dog has slept in my office, hung out of my office with me every day for years. And I keep looking over to to see if she's there and she's not. And it, it hurts every time. I'll probably be doing that for a while. And tonight's going to be very weird too. And, you know, I, I just hope my, my kids are... get. I mean, they'll get through it. I hope this helps prepare them later on for loss. Because, you know, it's going to happen again. Eh, it never gets easier. I mean, it was hard not to cry. And especially when I started thinking about just, like, I felt her pass, basically. You know, I, I felt her stop breathing. And she was such a good dog. And, you know, we're going to miss her so much. And I'm trying to keep my mind off of it as much as possible. It's what I do. Been working all day, playing some video games. You see the video games in the background here. I mean, that is my distraction. So that's why it belongs here. Even though it does not make much sense with, you know, what I'm talking about. It's just been a, a crazy week. I can't believe how fast it happened. And I was not expecting when I woke up yesterday morning that we'd be putting the dog to sleep that night. I expected to hear back from the vet with hopefully that we could try a treatment option to flush out our kidneys and some medicine or something. I was not expecting that the recommendation would be to put her to sleep that night. But, you know, it makes sense. She was definitely in pain and sick. You, you could see it. And I did not want her to suffer anymore. Neither did my wife. She had to make the call. I mean, she set all everything up to have this done. And I'm not sure I could have done that. As strong as I like to show on the outside. That takes a lot to make those calls and actually set it up. And I really hope she is uh, doing well. 
But we don't have much of a choice. I mean, we have to keep moving on. So I want to thank everybody for listening to this last five minutes of me kind of just talking about it. I'm sure many of you have been through the same kind of thing or, you know, you will. And if it, if you're going to, I hope this kind of some way helps you. All right. Have a great weekend.